30. Scoop. 30. Scoop it. Yo, what's good to my 30? Appreciate y'all. Um, Appreciate all the niggas that got the notification. I was like, oh shit, daylight up. Niggas on. Fucks with y'all. You feel me? All the rest of these niggas that just be coming in here so fucking periscope surfing. Nigga waiting for them niggas to see who uh, page they could jump into and hate. Nigga, yeah, we don't worry about them. Big us and my 30 squads got the notification. Nigga, we about to turn up this morning. You feel me? Fuck with your boy. Um, so, y'all know how I start my squad off. I was up all night researching something I do. I don't go to sleep like y'all niggas because y'all niggas got to go to work. I don't give a fuck if you offended. So what? I don't go to sleep, my nigga. I don't have to go to sleep because I don't have no fucking time frame to be up, my nigga. You feel me? So I've been up all night researching some shit. And I got it. I got it, bruh. I got it. Racism was not designed by the government. That's a lie. It was not designed by the government, my brother. No. Racism is not a design. It is not a design at all. It is not a plan. None of that. I figured it out last night. I was tracking racism back to the beginning. I tracked racism all the way back to, to the word race itself. Where it begun. Oh, ee, that would have been ugly for your boy. That would have been very ugly for your boy. Look at this shit, nigga. Nigga, that shit would have tried to kill a nigga. Fuck you talking about, nigga. I ain't sitting over there. Hell no, nigga. Nigga, I'm from the hood, nigga. But shit, fuck that, nigga. These niggas got tarantulas. All type of shit. Yo, remind y'all. I told y'all, look. So, um, when I tell y'all, like, I moved to an area, not because it was a safe area, but because... Where this area is, these people feed off the land. That's why I moved here. And as you see, we have all the vegetables, crop, celery, uh, fucking kale, uh, strawberries. Everything you can think of is right here, and it's free to go get. I moved to an area where you can literally live off the land. But, hold on. That ain't what we talking about. Um, niggas don't know how I get up every morning. But look, that ain't what I'm talking about. So... This is better. No spiders. Let me make sure no spiders. All right. So, last night, I was doing my research. Rule number one. The first person to say they not a racist is most likely a racist. If you not a racist, you don't have to make it known. Nigga, I'm not a racist. I'll show you with my body language that I'm not a racist. All right. Um... To sit up here and say, hey, look at me, I'm not a racist. Nigga, that means you guilty of something in your heart. Somewhere in your heart you had a little bit of racism, so you need to make it loud and clear that you're not racist. But me, I'm racist in the motherfucker, and I'm going to tell you that. I am. I'm sorry. I don't like niggas. I don't like Indians. I don't like Chinese people. It's a lot of motherfuckers I just don't like. You feel me? Fucks with my white people, though. That's why I'm out here. But... All right, so last night, you feel me, I was doing research, I was doing a lot of research on this shit, my nigga, you gotta be racist to even ask that question, who more racist, white people or black people, bro, you should get blocked for asking a stupid question like that, all right, so, last night I did a lot of research, come on, I can't let y'all distract me, last night I did a lot of research, and, um, I tracked it back to uh I tracked it back to to the beginning. To the beginning. I tracked it all the way back to the be to the beginning of pre fire. I tracked everything back to the beginning of pre fire. And um 
pre-fire man is not the man y'all thought he was. We have been programmed to believe that pre-fire man was like a caveman ape. We have been like programmed to believe that when that's not true. That is not true at all. Pre-fire man was not an ape or a caveman. Not at all. Mm -mm. To be 100% honest, pre-fire man was actually smarter than men are now. No, we off racism for right now. We, we got to get to the story of this. Pre-fire men were smarter than they are now. Now let's get one thing straight. This is what y'all need to understand. Dinosaurs were here first. Before everything. Dinosaurs were here before everything. Now. This is a proven fact that dinosaurs were here before everything. So can somebody please tell me why none of the Bible speak about dinosaurs? But anywho, we ain't going to go that deep. But dinosaurs are here first. Let me tell y'all. I'm, I'm about to give y'all the greatest history lesson that nobody has never told y'all. Dinosaurs was here first before man. Okay? Listen to me. I want y'all to really listen to me. Dinosaurs were here before men. Somebody from another planet spotted this planet. Spotted this entire galaxy. Somebody from another galaxy spotted this galaxy. The same way we're looking for another planet, Earth was once spotted. I'm telling y'all, I'm, I'm doing my research. Somebody spotted this planet and said, hey, we could live there. Hey, we can actually live there. They sent drones. They sent everything, UFOs. They sent all that shit here. This is back when, you know, shit was Pangea. Now, I'm going to go into that, too. But this is back when, quote, unquote, shit was Pangea. So... They sent things here to probe the planet and check it out. They checked it out. You know what they you know what was the message they sent back to the space center? They sent back the planet is uninhabitable. It is creatures on the planet that man could not live with or our species could not live with. They're they're like we can't live with brontosauruses and T-Rexes and Raptor, we can't live with it. We can't. So you know what they did? They atom bombed this shit, bro. They told us a meteor hit the earth and wiped out the dinosaurs. No, 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 no. Atom bomb. Wipe out as much as they can so they can come live here. Listen to me. Don't listen to what school and Nat Geo has told you. I'm trying to tell y'all the truth. I'm literally trying to tell y'all the honest truth. But y'all so programmed and brainwashed that y'all won't believe this. The same shit they did to Hiroshima. The same shit they did to Hiroshima. My nigga, really think about it. They really wiped everything, my nigga. They wiped everything. Nigga, the same thing they do to every fucking planet they go to. What do you mean where I'm getting my facts, my nigga? This shit is written on the fucking walls of Egypt. Maybe you should go read hieroglyphics, my nigga. This shit is actually written on the walls. This is actually the same thing that's inside the fucking Vatican uh, library. It's the same thing in there. This is what they don't want us to know. It's written on the walls and it's inside the Vatican Library. It's the blueprint to the civilization of how people got here is what they don't want you to know, bro. 
But y'all not listening. Half y'all don't even know what the fuck the Vatican is. So what I'm saying is, what I'm saying is, oh, here we go. Here we go. We was doing good. Remember, we was doing good. Not one troll. Here they come. You know, I speak on the word Vatican. They send the fucking trolls in there. Oh, shit, he talking about some real shit. Send them in. All right, but look. This is what they're hiding. And this is why they make sure that... Think about it. If you go to school, why they don't train you in hieroglyphics? Why they don't teach you to study, like, one of the languages that is, was here before everything? Like, why? There's a reason why. They don't want you to read none of this shit. They don't, especially, they don't want black people to read none of this shit. So... Bam. They nuked Earth. Nuked. They nuked it. They literally nuked Earth. Made sure it was clear. They left a few animals. You know, the water animals and shit. Shit, we ain't gonna really be it. They left a few water animals. They killed all the very vicious big animals. They made sure they <laughs> killed all all the very very big vicious animals like they made sure they wiped the raptors they made sure they wiped the, the tyrannosaurus rexes they made sure they wiped all the uh what do you call them uh pterodactyls they made sure they wiped all of that shit like the shit that could really fuck us up they wiped it they kept the bullshit like the long necks giraffes and the rhinos which was the uh triceratops once upon a time and uh they bred them they bred them in captivity bred them to keep them here but to domesticate them. Alligators too. Domesticated. Some of them domesticated. You got to understand. I do dog breeding. I breed dogs. And I and literally over the fucking last 20 years. We have changed the entire structure of the American bully. Within three generations. You could change the entire color and look of a dog. And the same thing with animals. So what I'm saying is. Alright. So they kept. The animals. They literally kept them. Alright. So. They nuked. People came. Right? The first people came. Now this is where I'm about to. I'm about to. I'm about to literally like tap in. What they mean by race. See a lot of people take that word out of context. But they not really thinking about. What's happening. Race. It's called race. What is a race? Can somebody tell me what is a race? It's when you fucking got a destination and it's the first fucking person to get to that destination. That's what the fuck a race. No, race does not mean color. Race does not mean color. It means, nigga, a finish line, a track, and everybody running to get to the fucking finish line. Race, nigga. Race to control. Race to to power so the first people that came to this motherfucker who know who wants to know who was the first people or who knows who was the first people on earth who knows Who was the first people on earth? Of course I'm going to sound stupid to niggas who program. It's Of course. Of course I sound stupid to niggas who've been taught that Christopher Columbus found American, America. Of course. Of course I'm going to seem stupid to people like that. It makes perfect sense. Who was the first people on the planet, bruh? That's a question I want everybody to answer. Who was the first? Yes, everybody, niggas. Every last one of y'all. If you don't want to be called a nigga, then you clearly a fucking racist. Because if you wasn't racist, the word shouldn't bother you. So if you don't want to be called a nigga, then that clearly means you feel some type of way. Like, don't call me a nigga. I ain't a nigga. You racist. So my my... Thank you. I like that word, but I'm not even going to say it because I know people just going to ignore it. But 
Good shit, bro. Smart man. All right. So. Adam and Eve was not the first people on earth. And this is why I tell y'all niggas, religion is very destructive to the human brain. To the human brain. Adam and Eve was far from the first people on earth. Far. Y'all niggas gotta wake the fuck up, bro. It's like clearly proven that Adam and Eve was nowhere near the first people on earth. And then y'all niggas so stupid that it clearly stated in every Bible that there were people here with Adam and Eve, which means there were people here before them. But we're not gonna get into all the contradictions of the books written by men. Um, when you understand who was the first people here, look, y'all gotta start listening to these words, man. Listen to this word, race. It is an actual race, running race to the finish line. Listen to this word, his story. Really think of these words, break them down. Not the world story, not the true story, his story. Y'all have to understand, man. You have to understand what's happening. You cannot fall for his story. You cannot fall for his story that he is giving you. Look, the first people on the planet were the smartest people. That they're way smarter than who we are today iPhones, all that shit. That shit is very old. It's very old. Let me. I'm gonna break it flat out down to your iPhones, phone, cell phone communication, iPads. All that shit is very old. It is very, 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 very old. Technology itself is very old. It's very, very, very cameras. All that shit is very old. So. When you understand, oh, I'm glad we down to like 69 people. I'm very glad we down to low numbers. I hate when we have a lot of numbers in there because it get idiotic. But when you when you understand Samaria, when you understand Lamaria, and you understand stuff like that, you understand like electronics, electronics itself. We didn't need them. This is what I mean by iPhones and all that shit was here already. Because electronics itself, we didn't leave, we didn't need them. We were. I can send you a text message straight to your head. I can literally send you a text message straight to your head. Like I can look at you and go, okay, that's what I want you to know. This is this is what I'm saying. You have to understand, man. Y'all have to understand what we're dealing with. Y'all have to understand, like the first people here already knew this type of stuff. The first people here was the nigga. They were able to to look. Man. A lot of niggas don't even believe telepathy is real. A lot of people don't even believe telepathic things are real. A lot of people don't believe telekinesis is real. Yeah, I wouldn't expect you to believe it's real because you one of them niggas that probably believe that nigga Jesus died for all our sins. You probably one of them. So, what I'm saying is, when you understand the first people that were here, when you understand frequencies, when you understand sound waves, when you understand uh, sound in general, you have to understand, man, the first people that was here already knew some of this stuff, man. Thank you, my sister. A lot of these people are very stupid, but that's the type of world we live in. We live in a world full of programmed people that believe they know everything because they, are been, they have been programmed by his story. So, what I'm saying is, 
when you understand the first people that was here and you understand what their mission was and what type of abilities that they had let's clear up one thing to the entire world and I'm going to say this loud and clear, whether you get offended or not. Black people were here first. We were. That's it. That's all. And we were very smart. That's it. And that's all. Whether you want to accept it or not. Black people were here first. That's it. And that's all. And we were extremely smart. Extremely smart. When I say extremely smart, I mean extremely, 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 extremely smart. Third eye, nigga, all the way up. Extremely, extremely, extremely smart. This is actual facts. It's proven by whoever you can possibly think. All right, so I just got to get you out of here, bro. Like, that's it. I can't even, I can't deal with brothers like that. That's probably not even a black person. It's probably a white person under a black profile. All right. So, black people were here first. We were very smart. Now, like I told y'all, it's called race. You have to keep that word in the back of your head, race. We found the planet first. That's all this is all about. It has nothing to do with I hate the color of your skin. None of that. None of that. We found this planet first. Everybody else seen it. The same thing they did with the moon. Remember? Oh, let's hurry up and get to the moon. First person to get to the moon, put the flag on the moon. Same thing they did with the moon. Niggas was racing to the moon. Correct? Am I correct? People raced to the moon. First nigga there to put the flag on there. Oh, I got here first. We got to Earth first. Yeah, the moon landing was fake. I know it is. But what I'm saying is that was the objective, the race. We got here first. We found this motherfucker first. We got here. We adapted. We bred. We created. We planned it out. Bam. Other people seen it and was like, oh shit, that shit has all the fucking resources. Let's get there. You know who came before white people? Chinese. Chinese people are from somewhere else. Chinese people came. Boom. Then the white people came. Boom. Then more people started coming. Boom. Then the reptilians came. Boom. Then the greys came. Boom. Then the list went on. Boom. This is all a race. Not over skin color. Not over uh, none of that. Not over species. None of that. It is a race for who can fucking take over this planet. They didn't come for us. They don't care about us. You got to understand, if white people actually cared about us, they would just kill us all. That's what you not understand. If they actually, like, was, if it was really about that, then they'd just fucking wipe us all out. But it's not about that. It's not about, like, it's not about none of that. What it is about is who could fucking take over this planet. Everybody is aliens, bro. Not just white people. Everybody, bro. Everybody. No, they didn't try to kill us. White people never tried to kill us. What they did, let me tell you what white people did to black people. They didn't try to kill us. They only wanted to dumb us down. Because if they kill us, all of us, then they would lack a lot of information on things that they don't possess. So, they didn't kill us. They only dumbed us down. Bread, bread, put us in captivity. Bread the stupid niggas. 
killed the smart niggas, bred the stupid niggas, bred more stupid babies with more stupid babies, and that's how we lost track of what we are really capable of. That's it. They didn't want to kill us. If that's the case, they would have just killed us all out. No. They bred the, the like, all right, so, okay, generational. When you understand generational, we lose facts every generation. We lose actual ability every generation. We lose ability. Half you niggas on here don't even know what a fucking third eye is. But that's part of the plan. That's part of the, the evolution that they had. So, it was never, it was never a, a, a point to where they wanted to kill us. That was never, I, I don't think they tried to get rid of us. It is not hard to get rid of a species. It's not hard. Um, but, to get rid of a specific species, see this is what I'm saying. You can't come to Earth and just get rid of everything. The universe has laws, and there's people that there's people over the president, like people that have governing and president rules of the universe that states you can't do this. You can't wipe out an entire like you have to follow the fucking galactic rules. This is something y'all don't y'all don't know nothing about that's going on. You have to follow the galactic rules. And the galactic rules is race. Get there and try to find a way to do it. It's one big game. Find a planet, find a way to fucking take it. You can't kill everybody. Look, my sister, it's very easy to kill us, man. Want me to tell you how it's very easy to kill us? Because we're not smart as who we were. It is very easy to kill us, but we're not... We're not smart of who we were. We're not smart as who we were. Guardians of the galaxy. Y'all think this shit is a joke. Now this shit is actually real. We kill ourselves. That was the plan. We kill ourselves. So. They couldn't kill us as a whole. They couldn't say hey let's just wipe out that whole community. Because other races would not allow that to happen. They can't just wipe out a race because other races wouldn't allow that to happen. Other people from different planets wouldn't allow that to happen. The Greys wouldn't allow that to happen. You got to play by the rules. So what they do, manipulate. Manipulate, interbreed, manipulate, interbreed, manipulate, interbreed, manipulate, interbreed. Now, you know what the world wants? The world wants niggas like Lil Yachty. That's what they want. Niggas like that. Niggas who are have no no audacity to be in tune with their inner self. That's what the world wants. That's their only goal. That is literally what they have been trying to create for the last nigga. The last nigga fucking six million years. That's what they've been trying to create. The entire XL freshman class, that's what they've been trying to create. Them type of niggas. Niggas who give a flying fuck about the inner self, bruh. Niggas who give the, a flying fuck about, like, a strong mentality. Niggas who give a flying fuck about even, per, like, perceiving things from a different perspective. Niggas who give a flying fuck about eating healthy. Niggas who give a flying fuck about assisting the world. Like, that is what they wanted, bruh. That is what they wanted. That's literally what they want. I don't give a fuck who goes hard. It ain't about who go hard. It's about the type of people that the world wanted. Those are niggas that are a product of interbreeding, stupidity with stupidity. That's what the that's what it is. That's what it has come down to. I give a fuck if these niggas make music that you can hey hey. I don't give a fuck if niggas make money a uh, fucking music you can do that too. What I'm saying is these niggas. This is the type of niggas that they wanted. It took these niggas over 700 million years to breed us. To breed us. 
We went from Nicole status. Most of y'all don't even know what a fucking Nicole is. But we went from Nicole status. We went from, from communicating telepathically. We went from telekinesis. We went from understanding frequencies. We went from building pyramids. We went from doing shit that was impossible. To niggas with double cump saying, hey. That's what they wanted, bro. That's what they wanted. And they got us right where they want us. Everybody willing to turn up. But nobody is eating their vegetables. Everybody is willing to turn up. But nobody is eating vegetables. Really think about it. Everybody is willing to turn up, but nobody is eating the vegetables. So what I'm saying is, this is what they wanted. They don't want, they put these niggas in the forefront of the world so people can follow. The best thing to do is have a stupid sheep lead the rest of the sheep. If that nigga jump off the cliff, the rest of the whole fucking flock gonna jump off the cliff. So, vegetables are only nasty because we have been programmed with so many sugars and sweets and stuff like that. That's the only reason why vegetables are nasty. When you are a little kid, you don't know what's good or what's what's nasty. You don't have a, a, a base plate. But from, a, from a, a baby, you are programmed. From a baby, you are programmed. You eat baby food. It has maximum sugar in them shits. You eat the little Gerber's baby food, maximum sugar in them shits. You eat fruits, all that shit. You're programmed from a baby to determine what's good or what's not. My son right now, five years old, nigga, he won't touch meat. He won't touch it, my nigga. That nigga eat vegetables only. My son, five years old, he eats vegetables only. He won't touch meat, bruh. At all. At all, my nigga. He's not, he hate, he really kind of hates sweet things. Like, he's like a bitter tasting nigga. Like, he like, he like weird shit like beets and roots and shit like that. Like, but it, but see, like, I'm so programmed that I call it weird. You get what I'm saying? I'm so programmed that I call it weird. So what I'm saying is, the nigga really don't like, like, he don't like sweets. The nigga don't like, like, when he get chips, nigga, the chips gotta be plain. Like completely plain. Like plain. The nigga eat plain cereal. Plain everything, bruh. And when he get pizza, he gets vegan pizza, bruh. Almond cheese. Like fucking uh tomato sauce and bread, bruh. So what I'm saying is. Vegetables are not nasty. We are programmed to believe that they he don't eat chicken at all. You can't you can't pay the nigga a zillion dollars to eat chicken. He won't eat it. No matter what. You can ask anybody that's ever been around us. He won't eat no meat. I have programmed him to believe meat is nasty. Now don't say meat make your brain expand, because my son's five years old and he's probably smarter than seventy percent of the people on here. He doesn't eat meat at all. He doesn't eat meat at all. So what I'm saying is. I don't want to go deep into my son. Because. There's a lot of things he's able to do. As a five years old. As a five year old child. That a lot of grown ups are not able to do. So. You have to understand this. You are what you eat. You really are what you eat. 
you need to understand that as a people you are what you eat and Hmm. You ever wonder why most people act the way they act and they are not connected to this planet the way they should be is because we don't eat vegetables. We don't eat vegetables, so we can't even understand the land like that. See those over there? That's vegetables. Y'all want to go see them? I'll take y'all over there so you can see. i take y'all over there so you can actually see what I do every morning. I walk up. I go I walk my 16-mile run. I stop. I get some vegetables for my son so he can eat breakfast. And I go home every day. Every day. All of those, those are orange trees, apple trees, uh, peach trees, pear trees. All the vegetables. 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 Still waiting on my babies to grow. I'm waiting on my babies to grow. Oh, come on, baby. It's okay. It's okay. Uh, come here. You like that, huh? <laughs> my babies. You feel me? My vegetables. You feel me? So what I do? Waiting on my strawberries to grow. As soon as my strawberries grow, we're going to be in the game. Squad. You feel me? My vegetables, bro. It's all my vegetables. Y'all need to understand, bro. Hold on, I'm gonna take y'all to the other side real quick. Take y'all to the other side real quick. Y'all can see. I just planted these the other day. They ain't even growing yet. But you know, it's been kind of hot, so I gotta make sure they get their water and shit at the end of the day. You feel me? Show y'all though. Vegetables. Over here, we got um see this is a um orange tree. Ain't no oranges on there right now. We already harvested for the rest of the summer. You feel me? This is a lime tree. There's limes on there. Uh, is it any limes? Nope, no limes. This is another lime tree. Lime, orange, lemons, all the citrus is all the same. That's another citrus tree and that's another citrus tree. Oh, see? I go one. I know there'll be some crumbs left somewhere. But you know, somebody ate it, probably a bird or something. But you know. Anybody who knows vegetables and plants, you know that this is actually a lime tree. So what I'm saying is, man, I understand, bro. You have to understand, man. Eat off the land, bro. Eat off the land, understanding what this would do to you. 
understanding how this would help you. It's not for nobody, believe me. I don't, I'm not asking nobody to believe me. Some of these niggas believe that a man named Jesus, where there was no letter J back then, walked on water and turned all the water in the world to wine. Some people believe that. Okay, you can live your life believing that. I don't want you to believe me. I don't want, I, like, I really don't want y'all to believe me. I don't care if you believe me or not. I don't want you to believe me. I would rather you remain living your life the way you live it, and I live my life the way I live it. It's better for me. So what I'm saying is, look, bro, people have not been eating meat since the beginning. That is a part of his story. People have not been eating meat since the beginning at all. You have to understand at one point in time, at one point in time, have you seen the movie Avatar, bro? Have you really, really seen the movie Avatar, bro? We are connected to everything. At one point in time, we were connected to everything. We were. We were connected to everything. Everything had some form of connection. Some form of spiritual or mental connection. The same way whales communicate, the same way dolphins communicate, we were once able to communicate with everything. We were once able to communicate with everything. That was fucked up by somebody else. And now, instead of being, instead of communicating with animals, we now shoot them. For example, we don't. We don't. Black people don't poach. You don't see black poachers. And if you do, it's because they, other friends talk them into doing it. You don't see black poachers. You don't see black poachers just taking a picture on top of a fucking elephant they just shot. You don't see that. <sighs> I just told y'all. I just told y'all, you have to stop looking at his story. We're talking about going back. See, this is what's wrong with y'all brains. Y'all brains believe that the world is only 2,000 years old. When I talk, I'm talking about pre-fire man, bro. I'm talking about pre-fire man. I'm not talking about now because fucking natural resources are fucked up. I'm talking about pre-fire man. I'm not talking about today's time. So what I'm saying is pre-fire man, there was no need to fucking hunt animals. There was absolutely no need to hunt animals, bro. Hunting animals is a barbaric thing. It is a Viking style thing. Barbaric Vikingish. So what I'm saying is, there was a time where we didn't hunt animals. There was a time where we connected with every animal. You believe our species is only, nigga, your species is only 550,000 years old. Yeah, nigga, that's when y'all came. That's when your species came. Not ours, nigga. We've been here for millions, nigga. So, people in Samaria, nigga, you know what Samaria is. People in Samaria didn't hunt animals. People in Lemuria didn't hunt animals. People in Zamu didn't hunt animals. People in Teperia didn't hunt animals. People in Gazoo didn't hunt animals. Nigga, what are you talking about, bro? What are you talking about? Don't argue with me, my nigga. Don't do it. It's not a good thing to do. People didn't touch animals, bro. Because... All the animals that were here were the animals that we let here. All the animals that was here were the animals that we let here. We kept them for specific uses for things that we needed to use them for. Like I said, Avatar, nigga, I connect to your shit so you can fly me around the fucking world. 
I connect to the horse so it can ride me somewhere. I connect to the pigeon so it can fly my message somewhere. I connect to this specific thing so it can do what I needed to do. Connect. Now look at this. I can't even talk. Hey, 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 what's up? My, hey, I'm just I'm just talking to y'all. What's up? You ain't what you running for? See, now a nigga can't even fucking talk to the birds. Now they can't even talk to the birds. But they ain't our fault. They ain't our fault. That's y'all fault. Nigga, y'all fucked that up. Look, it's a bird right here. Look, I'm just trying to talk. Hey, hey, you know what I'm saying? I Don't run. For, I ain't even doing a... Hey, I know you want to eat and shit. Like, I, can I come eat with you? All right, I'm going to just... I'm going to just take it easy. You know, don't run. Just let me get a little piece, please. So what you... I ain't going to do nothing from you. So I ain't... I'm chilling. You, we cool? Why are we cool? You cool? If you cool, I'm cool. If you don't fly away, I won't fly away. You fuck with me? Yeah? Yeah, we straight? All right. Tomorrow? You want me to come back? Hey. We just had a connection. We just had a connection. I got my Merkaba back. I knew it was coming back. I knew it. Mm. Knew my shit was coming back. Y'all niggas ain't got that. Nope. Nigga, just talk to a bird, nigga. Fuck y'all talking about, nigga. You feel me? That's what I'm... See? See, we eat off the land, my nigga. I just proved to y'all right there, my nigga. I just proved to y'all live on the scope, nigga. Live on the scope, nigga. Talk to the bird, nigga. It didn't fly away, nigga. Talk to the bird, nigga. It didn't fly away, nigga. I just proved it to y'all right now, nigga. We still got our connection, bro. We still got our connection. Long as we, long as we not like, she know I don't eat meat. The bird know I don't eat meat. See, first she was like, "Oh shit, that's a human." Then she felt my heart. The bird felt my heart, like, "Oh, he don't eat us. He not one of the things that eat us. He cool." And then she walked back up to me. And she was looking at me, and I was talking to her, like, don't be afraid of me. And the bird really wasn't afraid of me. My nigga, that's what I'm talking about, bro. That's the fuck I'm talking about, nigga. That's the fuck I'm talking about, bro. <sighs> Yo, y'all witnessed it, bro. Y'all witnessed it right there for yourself. I ain't even got the fucking... I ain't even got to say nothing. Y'all witnessed it. I just talked to the bird, bro. It didn't fly away. You feel me? Hey, at the end of the day, I'm telling y'all. We connected, man. We got to get back connected to the land. Got to get back connected to the to the world. And we got to stop eating the bullshit, bro. You feel me? We got to stop eating it. We can stop eating the bullshit. We'll be all right. You feel me?